Hey, I'm Bo, and welcome to Foo Studio, the foo-tastic place where you can build anything. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool soccer game. You'll need to finish chapter five of the foos first, cause we're gonna use the loop, bump event, listen event, and the shout, hide, and play sound commands. Okay, so first, let's build the arena. We'll use the green block for the grass. Makes sense, grass is green. Now we don't have to go all the way to the edges of the level space, that would make the game a little too difficult. So let's make it about one screen wide. Next, we'll make two goals. I'm gonna use white blocks for the first goal, and I'm just gonna shrink one block, and then copy and move it to make the goal. This is way easier than putting up new blocks, shrinking them, moving them over and over and over and over and over. Okay. <laughs> We'll be putting a different code on each goal, so we'll need the second goal to be a different type of block. So let's make the second goal a different color. Let's use black. Whenever you click on an item, you can resize, delete, move, or copy it. It's a nice shortcut. For now, I'm gonna move the star out of the way. Now for the teams, let's make this a two-on-two -two game. Ninja Foo's team will have her pet octopus as the goalie. I hear he's pretty good. A lot of arms, I think that's a good idea. They'll be against a pair of glitches, and we'll make their goalie a little bit bigger. We gotta make this some sort of a challenge, right? Now we just need a ball to kick around. Hmm, we don't have a soccer ball, so let's use this beach ball instead. Okay, so there's a lot of things to code here. One, we want the goalie to protect the goal. Two, we want the glitches to try to kick the ball. And three, we also want Ninja Foo to win if the ball goes into the black goal. And we want Ninja Foo to lose if the ball goes into the white goal. Let's start with the easiest things first. The first code we write will make the goalie defend the goal. That's easy. We just make the octopus jump up and down. To do that, we'll click on the octopus and use a loop on the play command so he starts jumping when we click the play button. We'll tell it to jump straight up forever. He's gonna get a little tired, but it's fine. And when we press play, yep, we can see the octopus is doing exactly what we told him to do. Way to go, octopus. That should be enough to keep the ball from getting into Ninja Foo's goal. Next, let's get these glitches to move, but let's make it trickier than just jumping up and down. Oh, I know, we'll make them jump left and right. Okay, so we gotta use a loop again and add a jump. Set the parameter to the left and add a second jump and set that one's parameter to the right. Nice. They're jumping left and right over and over. Now the player has to get Ninja Boo to kick the ball under the glitches. Hmm, that ball doesn't do anything when it hits the goal, so let's fix that. We want to do a few things here. Now normally when the foo touches the star, the level ends. So let's hide the star at the beginning of the level. We'll have it show up again if Ninja Foo gets the ball into the goal. On the play event, we'll add the hide command. We want to make sure we hide it and don't destroy it. With hide, we can bring it back. But with destroy, it's gone for good. This will make the star go away. Yep, perfect. Now we need to make it come back when it hits this goal. We have to do this in two parts. Okay, so first the star needs to know when the ball touches the goal. We go down to the bump event. The ball's in the tire category. And this right here means when the ball touches the goal. And we're gonna make the goal shout. We change the parameter so it's the exclamation mark. That's the shout command. Now the goal is telling the star when it gets hit by the ball. But we still have to make the star listen. We click the star and go to its listen event. When it hears the shout from the goal, then we want it to come back so Ninja Foo can touch the star and win the game. So we add in a hide command and switch it to the show parameter. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna make Ninja Foo hit the ball. The ball is gonna hit the goal. The goal is gonna shout and the star is going to appear. Oh, yes, there it is. Okay, now we want Ninja Foo's team to lose if the ball goes into the white goal. I know, it's sad, but we gotta do it. 
I'm gonna do a similar thing to what we did with the black goal. I'm gonna click on the white goal and go to its bump event. Now when the ball bumps against the goal, which is this tire category, we're gonna do another shout. Okay, it's really important that we don't use the exclamation mark here because we've already used it and that would make the star appear. So we need to choose a different one. Let's use the crying foo since Ninja Foo, she'd be pretty sad if she lost her soccer game. Oh, poor ninja. To lose the game, we click on Ninja Foo and go to her listen event. We'll change it to the crying foo so that it matches. If the ball goes into the white goal, the goal will cry and then Ninja Foo will hear it. She loses the game because of this destroy command. Let's see if that works. The ball goes into our own goal. And yep, Ninja Foo loses the game. Sad day. Very, very sad day. Hey, let's do one more thing to make it more fun. If the player gets Ninja Foo to kick the ball into the black goal, they'll be pretty excited. So let's add a cheering sound. We go to the bump event. Right now, we have it shouting, and we don't want to lose that. So let's add a second command, which is this music note. We can select which sound we want to play. That's the music notes parameter. And let's choose this one, which is the cheer. So now when the ball touches the goal, the foo gets the star and also the crowd cheers. Yeah, Ninja Foo! Ninja Foo! Yeah! <laughs> That's how you make a soccer game in Foo Studio. If you want to play or remix this level, you can use this code in Foo Studio. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. I'm Bo, and I'll see you in Foo Studio.